Welcome to the game. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Alright, um, we are going to start on our lawmen for Dead Man's Hand. Uh, these are the ones that came in the two-player starter box. There are seven of them, and I'll show you a picture of them right now. So, we're going to start with... Okay, if that's not Doc Holliday, I'm not sure who it is. Um, but, this is what we're going to do, and looking at a few pictures online we know how we want to paint him so uh, I'm gonna start with his skin um, and if you remember the movies he was sick through the movie Tombstone so I'm gonna try different colors normally I go with barbarian flesh and uh, tan flesh first and then dark barbarian flesh to give us our standard then we do the flesh wash I this time I'm gonna use barbarian flesh and basic skin tone from Alejo it's a lighter skin tone so since he was sick and a little pasty in the movie I we'll would go with that just you know for something different and then we'll tie it all together with some flesh wash later on uh, but to start with we're just going to get on everywhere that there's flesh and that's going to be his hands both hands and his face Now we'll want to recolor his uh, mustache after uh, once we get all the skin painted. And we'll come back and we'll hit that with our gray sear base coat or our gray sear base paint to get us back to the normal paint so that we can uh, then do the mustache. So uh, I'm going to finish this up and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, now with the barbarian flesh done, we're going to do the pale, the basic skin tone, but the much paler. And we're going to do it the same way. We're going to mainly, it's not a dry brush, it's more of a wet dry brush, I don't know what else to call it. Um, we're just really going to run it over the, the high points of, of the skin. And again, as it, it will always look a little pasty at first, that's why we do the flesh wash, which will just tie it all together. Alright, we're going to do his shoes. I'm going to do them in snake bite leather. So brown. Now, his vest is red. We're going to use Flesh Tears Red for that. Um, flesh Terror is red for that. Um, and his pants, I'm kind of torn because I've, they look black, but they could also be a very dark blue. So, but his holster in the pictures is black. Um, so, which is why I decided to go ahead and use the snake bite leather on his shoes. And we'll see how it goes. If this doesn't look good, then we'll just change it to something else. But uh, I'm not really sure what to do with his pants yet. But I guess we'll figure it out because we're going to do those next. So, be right back. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and use the Black Templar on his pants and his holster as well. Why not? I was considering doing the Levite on blue, but I, I guess the black just wins out. finish this up and we'll be right back. Okay, his hat is also black, so we're going to go ahead and do that as well. Thank you. 
I'm gonna finish this up, be right back. Alright, with the pants and the hat completed, it's time to let's go ahead and do the vest. We're gonna do flesh terror to red for that. You're gonna be careful around all of the other areas. So you might want to switch to a smaller brush if you have one. And just be careful before you apply this. If you get it anywhere you don't want to, let it dry, and then come back with your gracier base coat. Yeah, I'm going to finish this up and I'll be right back. Alright, with the red done, I uh, decided I'm going to do the gun holster in Basilicanum Gray. It is very close to black. Uh, it's a very dark gray, but it will offset from the black that is his hat and his uh, pants. Be very careful. You don't want to get this all over the areas that you've already done. Now this is going to be the straps going over his shoulders and around his back. So I'm going to finish that up and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm um, going back to the Black Templar for his hair and his mustache. So we'll start with the hair in the back. Not a whole lot showing through, but just enough. All right, now to do his mustache, we'll be very careful. We've already gone back and I recoated the mustache with the gray sear. And I'm just going to be very careful. Alright, All right. Army Painter Flesh Wash to go ahead and finish off the skin. I'm just going to paint this all over the skin, get it down into those recesses and let it work its magic and shade all of those parts. All right, we need to do the shirt and his guns. Let's go ahead and do the guns now while the flesh wash dries. All right, using uh, gun metal for the only part of the metallic part of the gun you can see, which I kind of have painted black here, but it's really just this one piece right here. He is holding two guns, uh, but the other one you really only see the the butt of the gun, so. And now we're going to hit this afterwards 
in the soles of your eyes with the dark tone just to get into those crevices and give it the contrasting shadow that we want and then we're going to do the uh, the butts so the uh, hilt of the weapon so hold on okay uh, dark tone by army painter and again you don't really need a whole lot of this because it's just going over that silver and we just put on there not too much but get enough so it sits into those recesses when that dries that'll look really cool okay we're gonna go ahead and do his shirt now and what I'm using is matte white army painter thin down about uh, one to three or three to one three contrast medium to one matte white to kind of give us a, a white contrast paint and that's really just a little go on And I'm probably going to do two coats of this. I'm going to let the first one dry and I'll probably hit it again uh, just because his shirt was always very pristine and white. Uh, so I'm going to make sure that that shows through here. So I'll finish that up. Be right back. Okay, with this shirt painted, um, instead of going back over with my version of contrast white, I'm going to give the shirt kind of a, a white, wet dry brush. So uh, don't wipe off all the paint, but leave on just enough straight white paint just to drag over, hit the high points. We'll still keep a little bit of the darker down into the recesses, but still make it look really white. Like so. Okay, I'm using for the gun hilts um, Vallejo's Ivory. And it's really just for these. You could use white if you don't have the ivory. You know, it's really just to give them a different color and them stand out. All right, and for his ascot, we're going to do the Agaros Dunes. And there it is just for this piece right here. All right, at this point, we could just say, I mean, you can call him done. I mean, he looks pretty good. And uh, base him, call him finished. Not in the picture, but on the model, like right here, there's kind of a, a brooch. And he's got a chain right here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit those with the greedy gold just to bring those out. And I'm using a small brush here. I'm just going to be very careful. Put that in this chain right here.
All right, there you go. He is done and based. Um, we are sitting at about 40 minutes, uh, and it took a little while because the red for his vest, there's a lot going on in here that was trying not to hit. Um, that probably took the longest. Uh, so that kind of delayed it. But, you know, still, 40 minutes is not uh, is not a ton of time for uh, getting a, you know, good tabletop quality. So uh, one of our lawmen complete. Uh, quick caveat. I was, I was looking at the model. Um, in his hand, he's holding a cigarette. Doc Holliday has always had a cigarette in his hand. And I forgot to paint it. So let me run over what I did with it real quick. I just did the whole cigarette in white. And then the very tip of it, I did Griffhound orange, and I didn't record it. Uh, but I wanted to let you know that, yeah, he is holding a cigarette and white Griffhound orange for the tip to make it look like it's lit. And now and he is complete. Six more to go. So, anyway, uh, I hope this helped. I hope this is, uh, you know, learning something. Hope the change in camera angles is a little better than always looking at the top of my head. Uh, you know, see this anyway uh, but uh, anyway um, give me a like subscribe to the channel and uh, leave me a comment down below let me know does this help this is um, have you tried dead man's hand we played it a couple times uh, it's a blast we're having a lot of fun with it in fact uh, we're working on getting uh, some of the buildings for it or at least getting some 3d printed buildings uh, so we can really do something up we'll probably try to do a demo game or learn to play or something like that as soon as we get those buildings done uh, and the models painted so anyway uh, this is the first lawman uh, Doc Holiday is uh, what he looks like, and that's what I'm going with. And uh, I'll be your Huckleberry. Have a great evening.